Hello, everyone, and welcome back to theCUBE's live coverage of NetApp Converge here in Sin City. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host and analyst, Rob Strecce. Rob, this is a partner place. This yeah, it's about partners. I mean, that's where NetApp has always been, partner first, and really leaned into that throughout, from the engineering all the way to sales, to going and engaging to this event. It's always been that Well, way. who better to talk about the Partner First philosophy than Jenny Flinders. She is the SVP Worldwide Partner Group at NetApp. Thank you so much for coming on theCUBE, Jenny. Thank you for having me. What an amazing event. Yeah. Yes. Fantastic announcements today. Yeah. And thank you, it is all about partners, <laughs> okay? So let me be clear, I've got the best job at NetApp. I actually am responsible for our entire global strategy around our partnerships. And um, you know, you mentioned another thing. You know, it's it's partner centric, partner first. At NetApp, we do have a partner first culture, and it shines through in so many aspects of what we do. It starts from listening to our partners, to co-selling with them, to helping deliver customer success, and then making sure that we have the programs to support them from an enablement standpoint, making sure that we're helping them build the certification levels that they need, the solution competencies to make them the best of the best out there to support NetApp and our customers. So it's fascinating to hear how this is a philosophy that is constantly reinforced throughout the organization from, from, from you, from the top down. Talk us, talk us through NetApp's Partner Sphere program, what, yeah. it, what it's all about. So our award winning, Partner Sphere program is a year into its launch um, since we, we came out with it. And gosh, the feedback has been phenomenal from the industry as well as from our partners. What we wanted to do was put together a program that helped our partners differentiate themselves, take our amazing product portfolio, you know, uh, wrapped around with the services and all other offerings that we have to bring to market solutions that can help them deliver customer outcomes and to help them be successful as well. So the partner program that we have, Sphere, allows us to really interact with our partners based on their business models and how they want to interact with NetApp. So it's been, it's been a beautiful program. Uh, it's been fantastic, we love it. Yeah, and it's not just about uh, the go-to-market partners yeah. like the VARs and DISTEs and things of that nature. You're also, your purview is over. People like NVIDIA who was mm -hmm. just on stage and Lenovo and some of the OEMs and things of that 100%. nature. And to that extent, a lot of, a lot of the revenue for NetApp itself comes from this sphere of, or ecosystem of partners. Yes. And how, help us understand the, just the magnitude of that. So, I would say around about 86% of our business is with and through our partners. So are we partner centric? Hell yes. Uh, you know, do we have the best portfolio for us to become even you know, more partner centric and increase that? Absolutely. Our partnerships straight, you know, stretch across different business models. So like you said, NVIDIA, strategic partner for us. Lenovo, strategic partner for us. And we have so many that are co-engineering with us, co-solutioning, and co-selling. And together, we just bring beautiful stuff to the market for our customers. I think you saw some of that today. Yeah, no, we, we had uh, had them up on stage here and yeah. we were really talking about it and I think, to your point, it's about the solution and the outcomes. Mm -hmm. And that has to be where you, you, you're focusing from a partners is to really, how do we deliver outcomes mm -hmm. to the partners? Yes. Now, we actually, let me add on to this. So, recently we did a study, you can call me Miss Moneybags or, you know, that's also <laughs> good. Uh, 86%. <laughs> but, <yeah. laughs> We did a study recently with a firm called uh, Canalis, they're an independent analyst firm, and we wanted to show our partners, beyond just selling our product, how do you really monetize the NetApp relationship? And for every one dollar of NetApp sold, a partner can make up to $4.55 over and above that in services. And what we've been doing with the Partner Sphere program and everything that we're engaging with these partners through different business models is showing them how to monetize based on their differentiating factors, based on 
their solutions, their services models, their capabilities, and it's just been fantastic. So it's not just the portfolio, it's then some, because you know what? That's how we deliver customer success. It's not just selling the product, it's actually delivering that outcome. So we know that customers are clamoring to, <laughs> to for demand for AI and for yes. data-driven solutions. How are you planning to weave this trend into channel partner strategies to fuel excitement and further adoption of the NetApp offerings? We already have. Done. It's, it's done. <laughs> we did it. Mission so accomplished. In partner sphere, we have the AI competency, solution competency. So we already have partners that are attaining that solution competency where we're working with them to develop their capability in the market. Done. We knew this was going to happen a long time ago. We planned for it. Head of the curve. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when you look at it and, and, and you look at your partner ecosystem, and it, it's very robust, yeah. and, it, and I think to your point about the 4.55, not six or four, but five five, so four and, over four and a half times yes. every dollar. Yes. Your, these competencies are helping them build yes. that kind yes. of, build up their teams to be able to deliver these solutions. It's, it's a, it's a fantastic way to work with our partners. Not only are we building capabilities, but we are also showing our sellers within NetApp who are the best partners with the best capabilities out there. And that is what Partner Sphere you know, delivers for us as well. So you can see who's got the various competencies that you need to engage with the customer. So your leadership, your, your, your confidence is really infectious. And I want to ask you a question about leadership <laughs> because here we are at this really exciting event where there's so much buzz, so much energy and momentum. Yeah. How do you, as the leader, channel this back to your team and make sure that you, that you carry forward with it because you, you want to keep everyone moving forward in the same direction and making sure that you are, you are taking advantage of, of this incredible event. It starts with wearing great shoes. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> no, so um, that is a great question. <laughs> but uh, the shoes are very important on stage. Uh, we are a very infectious team, a high-spirited team, very passionate about the company and more so our partners. And in fact, what we're doing this year at Converge is we've launched in a big way the whole co-selling motion with our sellers. So we are literally taking our sellers through enablement sessions on how to co-sell with partners, how to engage them, how to do you know, strategic planning with them, territory planning, bring them into deals, they bring us into deals, and how we just co-sell together it's just a fantastic thing. So you'll see a lot of branding around this event, and it's all about NetApp, you know, co-selling with partners. So yeah. it's, it's getting very infectious besides the swag we're handing out. You can't miss it. Yes, I, I think the swag, the swag game is very <laughs> strong here. I, I, we go to a lot of events. Very on point. I was very on point, and I, and I think that, you know, again, brings back to people and they understand and, oh yeah, this is that, and I, I think we were talking about it earlier, the fact that you, you don't want the sellers who are in the rooms on their laptops and on their phones, Absolutely, but you want them yeah. understanding and taking this opportunity yeah. to not only work through the process, mm -hmm. but also, and learn it, but to actually focus and network with the folks that yeah. are here as well. Look, I mean, we've always been a partner-centric company, and we love our partners. We could not be successful without them. And the way our product portfolio has just become more awesome with everything that you're seeing, we have to develop new capabilities, but we also have to bring our sellers along and make sure that you know, we're showing them how we're building these capabilities out there in the market to give them confidence to engage with the right partner within their customer base. So Jenny, what's next? I mean, here we are at this, this brilliant event, but then what are you, what are you focused on the, over the next year? So I'd say a couple of things. AI is big for us, you know, being super successful. I mean, it, it, would, be, it would be a shame if people don't engage on our solutions. It'll be a loss for them. <laughs> no, but partners see the excitement and you know, they're very excited about everything that we've announced. So we're going to be bulldozing forward. We're going to be successful in our ASA block uh, approach as well. We're going to be successful in our co-selling. 
partners will see and feel the difference in that as well. We will continue to innovate in partner sphere, bringing the right solution competencies to market that really help our partners differentiate themselves. And you know what? We are the calm amongst the storm, especially when it comes to VMware, right? There's a lot of customers out there today that are not quite sure what to do. We got partners that can literally help them no matter what destination they want to end up, you know, sort of landing on. So we've got an amazing set of partners out there. I'm confident about how successful we're going to be with them, and I'm excited about what this year is going to hold for us. And you're going to wear great shoes. Oh, always. Well, <laughs> Jenny Flinders, <laughs> a pleasure having you on theCUBE. Thank you. Thanks I'm very Rebecca much. Knight for Rob Stretch. Stay tuned for more of theCUBE's live coverage of NetApp Converge. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in technology enterprise news, coverage, and analysis.